Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a floating newsletter block in a Bedford Squarespace website. What we're going to be doing is taking a standard Bedford page that has a banner at the top with an image and content underneath it, and we're going to scoot that newsletter block up so it hovers slightly between the banner and the actual content of the page. Now, before we get started with the code, I want to mention something very, very important. This tutorial is for Bedford theme Squarespace websites. If you're using a Brian theme website or the latest version 7.1, I have a completely different tutorial for you and a link to those is in the description beneath the video, okay? But if you're using Bedford, you're in the right place. Let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and I'll walk you through this code. So here we are in my demo site, and if we scroll down here, you can see I have the regular banner image with text on it, but in this page content, the very first part of my content is a newsletter block, just a basic newsletter, and this is what we're gonna use some custom CSS to change. So I'm gonna navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. This is where we'll be pasting our code for today. Now, the newsletter block is really easy to remember because its code name is dot newsletter block. Yep. That's it, super creative, I know. Then we're gonna open up a bracket here and the first thing we're gonna do is change the top margin to scoot it up the page a little bit. So I'm gonna say margin top negative, let's go with 15%. And you'll see my newsletter block has already scooted up, but you'll also see the newsletter block does not have a background color, it's transparent. So all I'm seeing is a line through the word subscribe and you're seeing the mountains behind it, doesn't really stand out at all. So let's add a background color. I'm gonna add a semicolon and say background color and we'll just go with the solid white background. There we go. Now what you'll notice right here is that it's slightly opaque. That's because it's actually behind part of that banner content. So we need to add one more thing here, another semicolon and we need to say Z index 99. What that's going to do is say, I want this to be the 99th layer on top of everything else on this particular page. I'm just assuming nine, there aren't 98 other things on this page. You can make that 9,999 if you want. Whatever you do, just make sure that's the biggest number there. So Z index is saying basically make this the top most layer out of all the content on the site. Okay, now let's uh, decorate this a little bit more. There's more that we can do to make this stand out. I'm gonna add another semicolon and let's give it, how about a border? We'll say border 1px solid, um, how about green? There we go. Now it has a green border to help it stand out just a little bit more. You know, looking at this, I don't think it's close enough to that title on my banner. I'm gonna go ahead and change this margin top to 20%. I wanna encourage you to play around with those values a little bit, okay? Change them, customize them, make them suit the style of your site so that the layout looks a little bit better. Let's go ahead and give it a shadow too. I'm gonna to add a semicolon and say box shadow, uh, five horizontal offset, five vertical offset, and 20 PX for a little bit of a spread. There we go. Now my newsletter block is standing out. You know what, let's do one more thing. Let's give it a border radius of 35 px it's going to pull those corners in just a skosh there we go all right let's walk through this code one more time so you understand what i just did and what you're probably going to want to change for your own website the first thing we said was all right we're going to talk about the newsletter block so we started off with a code name and then we opened up a bracket and said let's scoot it up the page let's make the margin top negative 20 percent now again, change that 20% to a value that suits your site. You don't have to use percentage. You can use view width or view height or even a PX for pixel. Um, if you are using PX, you might wanna set a few different breakpoints for mobile and tablet. And if that sounds too complicated, focus on percentage. That's a responsive size that's gonna res responsively change how far it moves up the page based on the device, okay? Let's keep going here. Next thing we did was add a background color because newsletter blocks are transparent and we wanted it to stand out against the banner image that we're using. Then we said Z index 9,999 because we want it to be the topmost layer and above everything else on the page. Then we added a creative border, a box shadow, and a border radius to curve those edges in. All of that's just fun customization that you can do based on your own site style and your own design. And that's it for this tutorial, a nice quick one for today. Now, all the codes that I just showed you are listed in the description beneath the video, so you can copy and paste those into your own site, but definitely play around with the values for that margin so it is, sets in the right proportion to other elements on your page. 
and play around with the border, the shadow, any other customization that you want to do to make sure that that newsletter block matches the style of the site that you're designing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.